On this webinar, we are going to take a look at the timesheets report. So one of our standard reports in here under the temp and contract section is our timesheets report. And as we can see here, it's going to show in the given periods that you, you enter in, it's going to show the timesheets that have been received. So if we click on that here, we can then build our report and enter in the data required. So you can see the dates that I want to view are going to be, I want to see March in, up till last Sunday. You can then always filter by region office team or consultant. If you wish, you can then narrow down by a specific client. So you can view just all temps work there. You can also narrow down, this is really handy actually, by the timesheet status. So if you have authorized that timesheet, that means that you're happy with the hours, they've been put in and you've had a signature from the client. You may have put in the timesheet, but not authorized it and you're waiting for that signature. So you could just go and find those that you need to chase or those that you know you've got total hours on. You've then got an option to group by the candidate, client or consultant. I think I'll leave that for now actually. Um, and the report format, you can always have the selection of PDF, RTF or Excel. And then once we confirm, that's gonna build our report for us. So let's take a look at that. So it's gonna give the title at the top, we can see the date that report's been run. We've got any filters that you put in will also be listed here and the date range you've selected. So at the bottom, the summary, because we haven't actually narrowed down by one of the statuses of the timesheets, it's gonna show you all. And we know that one has been authorized and one has been entered. So at the top, we can then see authorized has been nil. We can see job ID and title. We can also see that it's authorized as we already know the week ending date for that particular assignment week. And we can see the pay charge, the margin that's been made and the hours worked. We can then come down and see anyone that's in the entered list. So we've got Cara. So we're still waiting for a signature from Cara's manager. So we need to go and chase that. We can also get a view that if those hours are correct, we can see roughly what we're gonna be making in that period. And what's great is at the bottom, you can then see the total pay charge, even better the total margin and the hours that you've billed in that period. So as you can see there, it's a brilliant report.